My name's Alex Brown and I'm going to talk about what I've called the journey of light. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton uh, took a prism and put it in his window, closed the curtains around it so that he got a beam of light through the prism on the far, far wall of his room. and he noted there were seven colors. So his conclusion was light is made of seven colors. Goethe, the German scientist and philosopher, and he had decided that what he wanted to do was to at least try the same experiment and see if he could get the same result. The result he got was a white spot, a circular white spot of light, and at the top edge was red, orange and yellow, and at the bottom edge was blue, green and violet. Light is energy and darkness is no energy. And when the two things overlap, those shadows of light and darkness coming together makes colour. Turner's work, you can see that his work is definitely using that, that set of colours as light phenomenon. One of the things that came from all of this was a colour wheel, something we all know about the colour wheel, you can get, get a colour wheel quite easily. So this is a typical colour wheel. Uh, there are many different kinds of colour wheels set up in different ways, but they're basically showing you all the colours that light produces and, and how they mix together. Many of Turner's paintings, like this one for example, you can see the similarity of the colours and the colour wheel. So the next pe person we would discuss in this journey would be Monet. Monet got the big idea from Turner. So the idea about light he got from Turner. And I think it's fair to say that Turner got the big idea about light from Goethe. The thing that all these painters have in common is that they're looking 
to understand light and how light works and they're doing it through using um, paint and colour. Um, the method that they would use is to judge a colour by eye, decide what they thought it was and whichever colour they had to hand as a pigment match it as close as they could by eye. When they got it so that it looked right they would remember that colour and how they made it and then look for the next one. So eventually they'd have a set of colours that they know how to make and they would build on that until they got a bigger and bigger range of colours that work and that were judged by eye. There was no real method except that the, the change was that this, this period of time people were looking at, at colour and light and shadow in terms of, of colour rather than dark and light or chiaroscuro. So the, the old masters and the past was all about light in terms of its, um, its intensity and its monochrome, chiaroscuro, black and white, uh, giving drama. This was a new thing where people were looking at light in terms of how colour worked. The next person to come along in, in my story is uh, Vincent van Gogh, who, as we know, his paintings were very dark and light, very extreme sh shade and not much colour. He heard about the Impressionists and Monet and what was happening in Paris, and he went to Paris. He was obviously influenced by this journey of light and what exactly colour was in light. And he was probably the first person to, to have a, a method. And the method for him was the idea that um, the light source, the colour of the light source, meant that the shadow was the opposite colour or the complementary colour and this is where the colour wheel can come in very handy so that the whatever the light source you're using then the shadow colour would be the complementary colour of that. So this is um, a painting by Van Gogh of a landscape where he's you know he's really starting to mature his ideas of colour and light and I think you can see quite clearly that the um, the light source according to what I'm saying Van Gogh was, and Monet was doing it, the light source from the sun is yellow white and of course the opposite colour to yellow white or the, the shadow colour the house have to be like blue. yellow white and you can see that and the, the, the shadow on the wall at the side you see is a violet blue I think this illustrates it very well and then you can see these simple effects more sophisticatedly done in terms of the local colour which is the colour of something so that the light effects work in a more obvious way, yellow, white and violet, blue, when the, the object is white. But if the object has a colour already, say like a, a field is yellow or a bush is green, that is the local colour. And then that bush would be affected by, or that green thing would be affected by the sunlight, whether it was yellow, white into the green or violet, blue into the green, making the shadow. This is another example of Van Gogh's work where it's more obvious because he's using a light bulb and I think that it's the same thing really because a light bulb emits yellow white light almost the same as the sun and you can see the, the yellow white light on the white plate and then the shadow which is violet blue. Uh, this is another example self-portrait by Vincent Van Gogh 
where he's taking the idea of complementary colours, um, meaning the light source or the colour of the light source making the shadow the opposite colour and he's using more than one set so you can see in places on the face if you zoom in there to the face that there are yellow white areas and violet blue shadows there are also red areas which then the shadow would be green and there are green areas the structure is very strong based on how light works and how sh what colour shadows are and all of this goes back through Monet, Turner and Goethe and Isaac Newton and those understandings and I'm sure Van Gogh was reading Goethe and looking at Monet and Turner. Okay, I think it's fair to say that um, after Van Gogh died, there are very few people, if any, that were really interested in how light works as a painter and, and took this idea any further. Um, Van Gogh had come to a kind of a method. It, you know, slowly but surely he'd worked on a method. He, people said he was crazy and he cut off his ear and stuff like that, and I don't think that's really a true depiction of the, of the man himself. He was a very sound, brilliant thinker who understood how light and colour was working in our solar system and wanted to try to make a method. And Van Gogh probably got the furthest with developing a method that was based on complementary colours 